Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris again, Tech Savvy Agent. Got a quick tip for you guys today. I figured out a nice workaround for how to actually update your Facebook business page from Top Producer 8i. Even though Top Producer didn't build this feature, because they enabled the Twitter feature, I came up with a great workaround for you guys. And I think that you're really going to uh, enjoy this because that was the number one request to say, I don't want to put all this information about real estate on my personal page because obviously that's not exactly why people are friends with me, but on my business page, that's where I like to put updates about real estate. So this can all be done from within Top Producer 8i. Uh, we'll go through each step. It's really not that difficult. So here we go. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this quick lesson. So first thing I'm going to do is go into Facebook. And what you're going to need to do is when you go into Facebook, you're going to want to go into what's called an application called Selective Tweets. So search for Selective Tweets. And that's going to pop open. And all we're going to do here is we're just going to add this to the page that we want to update. So you can see once you get to the application here, you can click on add to my page. And once you do that, it's going to give you all the different pages that you have. And I'm just going to select this fake one I created here, but we're going to click add to page. And that's basically going to add that application. So that would be step one. Now what I'd have to do here is I'd actually have to go into top producer and in the preferences tab, uh, we do have both uh, looks like they have both the Twitter and the Facebook feature live now. So if I go into the general preferences and I go under social media setup, that's going to open up a nice little screen here for me. And you can see that there's now Twitter as well as Facebook. So you do need a Twitter account. So just go to Twitter. If you do have an account now, you could use that account. If you don't have a Twitter account, just sign up for one really quickly. It's pretty easy to do. So here's how this works. You're going to go into your page in Facebook. So I'm going to go into the page that I just added the application to and I'm simply going to click on edit page and what that's going to do is take me into the background here and you can see that now the selective tweets is an option. So I'm going to hop in here and I'm simply going to click on edit and what that does is it basically is going to let you go in and control the application from within your fan page or your business page. So all you're really doing is you have to give it permission. A little box says, does this application have permission? And then you're simply going to put your Twitter username in. And I created a separate Twitter account for this, but put your Twitter username in. And then at the bottom, you'll simply just hit save changes. Now what's going to happen here is the application selective tweets is pretty cool. What you're going to do is when you're looking to update from Top Producer, so if I go into Top Producer 8i and I click anywhere on the Twitter, uh, it's on every page. So if I go into like a listings page, it doesn't matter what page you're in in Top Producer, you can actually click right on the little Twitter icon. And that's going to allow me here to update either Facebook or Twitter. So I think the best way to use this is update your profile through Facebook and then use the Twitter workaround to update your page. And I'm just going to simply put in live test for tech savvy agent. Now here's the key. The way that selective tweets works is you simply put in a pound FB. And by putting in that pound FB, you're telling Twitter, send this tweet to my Facebook page. And remember, we already allowed permissions over in Facebook. So now I simply just hit post from within Top Producer. My post is complete and I can hit OK. And if I did hop back over into Facebook and I go back into my page now, you're going to see that that post live test for tech savvy agent is going to be there. The other thing that it does is it actually gets rid of the pound FB. Now I'm fast forwarding a little bit here because when you use a third party like Twitter to update your Facebook page, it does take it a little bit longer than just normally updating it through Facebook. But if I refresh this, Sometimes it takes 60 seconds, sometimes it can take up to five minutes. But the point is we can now update either our Facebook profile or by using selective tweets and using the pound FB trick, 
that's gonna actually update our business page from within Top Producer. So I thought that was a pretty cool workaround, something that I'm definitely gonna be using. And uh, hopefully you guys like this cool little trick. I can tell you that this is probably the only video on the web showing you how to update your Facebook page from Top Producer. It wasn't a feature that was built directly in, but that's kind of our goal at Tech Savvy Agent is to find workarounds and to find little best practices to help you guys out. So once again, how to update a Facebook page from within Top Producer 8i. And if you guys get stuck or if you have any questions, as always, leave them on the Facebook page or leave them on the blog here. Thank you guys. Chris, Tech Savvy Agent, signing off.